Hi, I'm Anthony and I'm a paramedic and today I'm going to demonstrate the use of a vacuum splint. Think that you've carried out your primary and secondary survey, you've now decided to splint, in this case, the right leg. First thing we do is stabilize the leg and direct an assistant DMT to come in and take over the stabilization of the leg. Huh. When this is done, as with all splinting, we need to carry out circulatory, sensory and motor function before and after applying the splint. For this we need to remove the shoe and the sock of the patient. Can you tell me what I'm doing? Yeah, just hitting my, I touch my toe. Can you move your toes for me? Yep. Excellent. Take out the appropriate size splint you will want to use. And in this case, we're using a leg splint because we always want to immobilize the joint above and below the site of the injury. Then we take out the split, even out the beads on the split. And we're happy to leave it out. We'll direct our assistant, pre-hospital provider, to raise the leg. If we have pain relief for the patient, now is the time we ensure the patient is taking that pain relief as there may be some pain when we move his leg. Okay, Frankie, we're going to move your leg now, all right? Okay. So, if we let that in place, the patient will now take some of the evidence. We then slide the splint underneath the patient's limb. Okay, Tom, you can place that back. Ooh. And rest the limb down onto the splint like so. We then mold the splint around the patient's injured leg. Ensure we don't place the straps. If there is an open fracture here, do not tighten the strap directly onto the open fracture. When you're happy to split this in place, remove your tubing and your extractor pump from the packaging. Place one end in the nozzle onto the splint and ensure that it's in the open position. Place the other end onto the extraction pump like so and proceed to extract the air from the splint. As we extract it, your assistant can check that the splint is in fact hard enough. When there's enough air extracted and the splint is now hard, Turn your dial to the closed position to ensure no escape of air. Remove the tubing and of course check circulatory, sensory and motor function again. Frank, can you tell me what I'm doing? I just touch my toe. Can you move your toes for me? Yeah. Excellent. In that case, try not to tick in the bottom of the foot as this may cause the patient to retract his uh, limb suddenly. And that concludes the application of a vacuum splint. 